Good evening, everybody. Hey, yeah, right. I like that response. That's awesome. What a great looking audience tonight. And we are so happy to perform for you. Now, if you notice, added a few new things. There are some flags, if there's any left. Flags and programs. Some of you found those, right? Wavy flag, yay. We can get those really going on the stars and stripes tonight. That'll be, that'll be very cool. I'm very happy to not have to be dodging any raindrops or trying to figure out whether we're going to be inside or outside. So that was good. Um, our uh, conductor tonight is Scott Montefering. And if you would please rise, we will begin with the Star Spangled Banner. Good evening, everybody. It was nice to see the weather report this evening, and I feel bad for Danny and Justin, our previous two weeks conductors. Uh, but maybe we can get a good windstorm up tonight, just for a good old time's sake. Hello and welcome to week five. Um, if you have your smartphone available and you can get to our program, we're on Waterloo Band IA. Dot org, and you can access the program that way, or we'll just tell you what we're doing. So, our very first piece this evening is a set of three dances um, entitled Metamorphic Dances. It was written in 2019, so relatively new. Oh, no! <laughs> Remnants of week one. Oh, no! <laughs> I got another battery if you want to know about that. It's a piece called Metamorphic Dances. It's in three movements. It's going to be right now. <laughs> Yikes. It's remnants of week one all over again, and all the other weeks, I guess. Um, it's three dances. We're going to start off with a little nod to next week. Julie will talk about next week's concert a little bit, so we're going to play a little tango for you. Uh, the middle movement is, it's a, is a waltz, but it's waltz-ish. Okay, there's little hiccups along the way, and it kind of sounds like it comes from a little bit of a horror movie. It's kind of demonic a little bit, so of course these folks can handle it. Um, and then the last movement we'll play is a little polka, and it ain't your usual polka. It's, it's kind of like the polka band's at the end of the night, and they play something really fast, and they really shouldn't. So these are three metamorphic dances uh, by one of our favorite composers, Brian Balmages. Thank you. 
So far, so good. Mic-wise. And of course, with the mic cutting in and out, let's have a soloist. A soloist. Got to be nice to it, I guess. Yeah, all right. Our soloist this evening, we have a vocal soloist with us. He comes to us all the way from Reedland. He's uh, associate professor of voice at Wartburg, a colleague of mine for the last, can you believe it, 12 years. We've been plugging away at all this. And so uh, we kind of got him to come with a promise of beverages afterwards. Because apparently singers are a little different, but whatever. Um, so uh, my colleague teaches uh, voice lessons up at Warburg along with diction classes and is the entire opera workshop from directing the pit and coaching the singers to donning overalls and building sets. And he's currently our boss. Up there, he's the department chair for music at uh, up at Warburg. So, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to tell you about his pieces. This is Dr. Brian Falscraft. Well, thank you very much, Scott. It is a pleasure to be here. Who would have thought that um, a year ago we wouldn't be doing things like this, and now suddenly we're it's just a relief to be back. So thank you for the invitation. Um, these two, we're going to sing, uh, perform two songs from Aaron Copeland's Old American Song sets. Aaron Copeland uh, was pretty much the typical composer for the 20th century. He was born in 1900, died in 1990, and uh, is best known for, uh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Best known for works like Fanfare for the Common Man that was used for, uh, for um, a couple of Olympics. Also, um, uh, 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 Rodeo, Billy the Kid, a couple of ballet uh, suites. If you remember Beef, It's What's for Dinner, you have heard Aaron Copeland. The two songs that we'll be performing tonight 
Uh, one, it, the first is Zion's Walls. It's an old uh, revival song that uh, he uh, that he um, set to um, so that he made music for a band. Wow, words are really hard tonight, folks. It's a good thing that I've got my, uh, and it's also a good thing that I brought my own music because the second piece is called I Bought Me a Cat. And uh, it is a series of nonsense children's rhymes that were supposed to be a play back and forth to find out whether to kind of see who was going to mess up first. So I'm cheating. Obviously my memory isn't so good right now. I brought my music with me. Tell you the key that you need to be in. Pig, please me. I fed my pig under yonder tree. 
my pig says grand feet, grand feet, my hen says shin shack, shin shack, my goose says quack, quack, my duck says quack, quack. My cat says feel like me. I bought me a cow, and my cow pleased me. I fed my cow under yonder tree. My cow says boar, boar, my pig says green feet, green feet, my hen says shimmy shack, shimmy shack, my goose says quack, quack, my duck says quack, quack. My cat says feel like me. I bought me a horse, my horse pleased me. I fed my horse under yonder tree. My horse says nay, nay. My cow says boar, boar. My pig says green meat, green meat. My hen says shin shack, shin shack. My goose says quack, quack. My duck says quack, quack. My cat says feel like me. I bought me a wife, and my wife pleased me. I fed my wife on a yonder tree. My wife says honey. My horse says nay, nay. My cow says boar, boar. My pig says green meat, green meat. My hen says shimmy shack, shimmy shack. My goose says quack, quack. My duck says quack, quack. My cat says feel like me. One more time, please, Dr. Brian Foltzgraf. Now, if you were paying attention, we're going to select one of you to come down and re-sing I Bought Me a Cat. Any takers? Bard Mackey is. All right. Hey, Bard. Stover, let's hit it. <laughs> So if you haven't guessed already, we're, we're doing our July 4th concert a couple of days early. Uh, so we got a polka for you, a waltz in Copeland. Um, and our next selection is entitled Duty, Honor, Country. It takes excerpts from General MacArthur's uh, speech uh, to the Military Academy in 1962. So we're almost to an anniversary uh, next year uh, for that. And then to recite excerpts from that, uh, speech this evening is our general of the back row in the brass section. This is Bard Mackey, who's played with the band for, can we dare say? 1979, 42 years. 1979. And it's odd, because he's only 23 years old. He's retired twice. And he's also the general of homebrews and salsa. So you can feel free to talk to him about all that afterwards. This is Duty on Our Country with General Bardman. Okay, it's still working. All right. Thank you. 
duty, honor, country. The unbelievers will say they're but words. A slogan, more flamboyant phrase. Every demagogue, every cynic, and every hypocrite try to downgrade them to the extent of mockery and ridicule. The code which those words perpetuate embraces the highest moral law. It will stand the test of any ethics or philosophies ever published for the upload of the mankind. It's so one of the great traditions this band has uh, that's been kind of on hold this year is the, the Children's March. Um, and it's still going to be on hold, so don't get me wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but this evening, we're going to use our flags. We're going to play for you the National Emblem March. I kind of kidded one of our horn players whose son, Hi Carter, used to lead the march, but now he's like six foot five and is driving and all that stuff. So it might be a little odd if you directed the march a little bit. Um, but we're gonna play the National Emblem March for you. So in lieu of the Children's March, please wave your flags. If you feel so inclined to stand up and mark time in place and march in place, feel free to do so. But if you wanna stay seated, I don't blame you. It's hot out here. Here we go, National Emblem.
Thank you, Scott. I don't know, Scott, I think, you're, I think your job might be in danger. There were a lot of really great conductors out there during the, doing the flag, so, you know, we might need to have open auditions here pretty soon or something, right? Okay. All right, well, we'll again, we are so happy to, to have you um, here tonight. Um, I'd like to mention a couple of thank yous to Jason Rubin, who is our photographer. He's back there hiding in the weeds. And, <laughs> and he does a great job if you check out our website, as um, Scott told you, um, www.waterlooband.org. You can see some pictures, and many of you are in those pictures. Have any of you seen? Ah, Marty, yes, you are. I put that up there perf on purpose. Yes, I did. So. Maybe some of you have seen yourself on our website. And we have Ed Stoffer as our videographer up there, and he does our videos. You might find those on our website also, so you can always listen to the, the tunes again, or if you happen to miss a concert, shame, shame, but if you happen to miss a concert, you can always check out the website and listen to it, or you heard a great song and you want to hear it again, you can do that. And then um, Kent Schenkel, who's the director of the Barley Center for the Arts. Thank you, Scott. Stop sending evil things here. Um, for the Center of the Arts and for the Center of the Arts staff who helps us um, set up everything. We'd also like to thank our contributors. The City of Waterloo helps us to keep running. We appreciate that. And, and those donations from, from some of you, Pat and Carrie Neri, Ruth Schild, and uh, Buzz Anderson. So thank you. Thank you so much. Next week, we have a Latino dance ensemble which will be performing with the band on a song. So they're going to be dancing out here. There is a big Latino dance fest or celebration. I think they call it Fiesta next weekend. So you might want to check that out. Also, we are going to have a smorgasbord of conductors next week because not only is Scott going to be here controlling the microphone apparently, and um, Brad Jensen. Wave Brad. Brad's going to be conducting a couple of pieces. Diana Blake is going to be conducting a couple of pieces. And Jason Weinberger from the Symphony is going to be conducting a couple of pieces. So you don't want to miss that. Next week, our July 8th concert. And then the 15th, um, Bob Schaefer was a member of the band. We're going to do a little memorial to him. And on the 22nd is our finale concert. And we've got something special planned for that. Les Aldrich is working on a very special piece that's yet to be revealed, right, Les? Yet to be revealed. So you get to hear a premiere. So come to that last concert so you can hear a premiere. And at this time, we would like to salute our members of the Armed Forces, past and present. So we're going to be doing the Armed Forces salute. And when your branch of the um, service song is played, please stand, and we will clap tremendously for you and your service. We appreciate your service to our country and to us. Thank you.
men and women. Keep that applause going. Yeah, that's great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. All right, we have uh, two more pieces. We got uh, a medley of Glenn Miller tunes that we're going to play for you, and then Stars and Stripes followed by um, America. So the, the Miller medley, I think you might have heard this group play it before. Um, it's, our, our, it's our homage to, to Glenn Miller. Um, we've been fortunate the last couple of years that the, the Glenn Miller Band, I think one of the only big bands that still tours, uh, has come to Iowa. Of course, Glenn Miller from Clorinda, Iowa, and they have the Glenn Miller Festival, but then when they would have the festival in June, the last few years, they've come up to Allison and played there, so it's just been really great to see them. Of course, this year didn't happen, uh, and last year as well, so we're hoping next summer that the Glenn Miller Band makes makes their return to, uh, to our area. And um, it's just really great. I finally had the opportunity to watch the, the Glenn Miller movie and, and see all that that entails with, with him missing after uh, helping out with, with entertainment for the troops um, and all that. So if you haven't got a chance to see, see the movie, the title's blanking me right now. Um, but do, do take that opportunity to, to see that and become familiar with, with this story. So this evening we're gonna play a little bit of Inland Miller. We're gonna play some Moonlight Serenade. I've got a gal in Kalamazoo, Serenade in Blue, Little Brown Jug, At Last, and the Anvil Chorus. Now I know you come to band concerts sometime and the director's like, hey, if y'all feel like dancing. No, seriously. Esther, Bill, somebody said that you guys wanted to dance tonight. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we got room up on top, so feel free. The songs are kind of long, so you might get your money's worth. Oh yeah, it's a free concert, isn't it? <laughs> so, in the Miller Moon.
felt a little Lawrence Welkish at some points. I didn't have the baton. Uh, I missed one more person, Heather Hamilton, on that great clarinet sound. Heather, fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is called Stalling for the Band to get on Stars and Stripes. Please get your flags ready. Stalling some more. Percussion figuring out who's going to play the snare. Alex is playing the snare this evening for Stars and Stripes. And then we'll go right into America the Beautiful. Thank you, everybody, for coming out this evening. Have a great weekend of uh, family time. Boy, do we need it. It's going to be great. What a wonderful weekend. Good weather. Lots of picnic-y foods and beverages will be consumed. Uh, I can only imagine. This is Stars and Stripes.
the band didn't see it. You guys played so well, the banner fell down.